Um, so uh, this video is a short answer to a question. Um, somebody wanted to see the redirections from silver, what are colloquially called the slow hand. Um, now that's once upon a time, perhaps, it was a controversial phrase. Um, the basic theory is fairly simple and has been outlined by Steve Hand in some of the other videos on the channel. Um, basically, if you are attacking from a distance where you must put in a foot to hit your opponent, the slowest part of the action is the foot. You can't hit your opponent any faster than it takes your, you, and it takes your feet time to get you there. Um, as a result, the hand is moving slower than it possibly can, and as a result, you can make more than one action with the hand on the way in. Um, and this is, you know, fairly basic fundamental fencing theory, really. It's, it shouldn't be terribly exciting, um, even though some people seem to have issues with it. Um, obviously, it's very exaggerated in a single-handed sword held in a sword foot back stance when attacking on a passing step. That, that makes it really, really obvious uh, what is happening. Um, and that's what I'm going to be showing you here is a series of four redirections from silver. Um, and I'm going to include basically the passages from silver where they come from. And silver doesn't say, do this. What Silver says is says, when you are defending yourself, don't do blah. And the reason why you don't do blah is not because that defense won't work against a simple attack. It will, every single time. Um, and I will show you how the simple defense will absolutely work. But it won't work unless you move to a true place because the attacker can change direction halfway through the attack. If you commit to your defense, they have time to redirect their sword and hit you somewhere else. Um, these are not feints. Um, they can, you can use them as a feint, but usually they're an ad hoc redirection. They're something that you, you make up your mind to do halfway through an attack, depending on your opponent's response. Um, and when I do these things, they're, they're unconscious. It's just the lizard brain takes over and you turn your hand and you hit them where they just open themselves up before you even think about it. Um, so uh, let's have a look at a couple of them. But we think somebody's left it there and going, where's my bag? Now, this sort of thing is not unique to silver, okay? If it wasn't for the slow hand, um, the, there would never be a bind in German longsword. People would both throw Zornhaus and just hit each other because neither of them would redirect their sword to uh, bind the other person's sword. Um, there are a number of these things fairly explicitly described in Maya. And uh, one of our other instructors, Stu, who practices Maya, um, we'll be doing a video very shortly showing you how this principle applies to uh, Maya's fight as well with various weapons. Um, but I'm going to add one extra in, and this is from Paige, um, Paige's Highland Broadsword. Um, 
and there are, the, you get the, the same sort of redirections in Angelo as well, though that would take a much longer video to um, explain and go through, and I might well do that in the future. But for now, this is just a simple example from page of exactly the same principle at play. So one final little chat about the terminology, okay, so the phrase slow hand um, is in silver, um, but it's in the kind of odd section at the back that people don't really know what to make of. So it's not, it's not, you know, one of one major part of his terminology, but it's it's a phrase that's in there. So um, we started using it, and uh, it has been suggested that it, it is the same principle as um, broken time in classical fencing. Um, I'm not entirely sure that's true. Um, as far as I can tell, and I'm not an expert in Italian classical fencing. But as far as I can tell, the phrase broken time involves a definite pause in the action. Now, in the uh, example we just saw from Page, that is explicit. There is a pause in the action. Um, however, when you are doing it with uh, an attack from Open Warden Silver, that is not necessarily true. You don't need to pause. You have enough time to simply turn your hand and hit your opponent somewhere else without the need to pause. So while I think broken time is an example of the slow hand, I don't think that all slow hand attacks necessarily are broken time. Um, nonetheless, uh, I hope you enjoyed that and... Uh, I'm sure it will stir up controversy. So uh, I will see you again soon.